Yeah, so that's your hard-earned money at work, guys. The uh, <clears throat> For game only, there you go. For development only, you, we're buying people PCs now so they can stream this to sell it to other people. That's amazing. Anyway, yeah, first, uh, first little Star Citizen video I've done in a while because I've kind of backed out of the game because I'm just tired of looking at it. And a couple days ago, here I am surfing, you know, going on something awful just because, well, that's the best place to get information. And lo and behold, there you go. So that's... Yeah, anyway, point of this whole video I'm making is uh, I put in for a refund. Now, did I post on the refund Reddit? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I I've had people send me a couple links. I hadn't checked them, and then apparently, like, there's a big issue with people who get refunds. Somehow, people that are not employees of CIG are apparently very offended that somebody would get a refund, and I can't understand that because I'm... How does it affect you? We all backed the game. We all paid money. It's not like you're you're getting money out of CIG. You're you're getting it, and sometimes not even everything you've given them. Like if you paid subscriptions and stuff like that, you don't get it. Gifts you don't get back, but you're getting your money back out. Like you gave them money. They changed the game. They're mismanaging it. Whatever you feel, it doesn't matter. It's still not delivered. You're getting your money out. I don't understand how anybody could be offended about that. But uh, yeah, there apparently there's people making videos about how bad refundians are, and I'm just. How does it affect you? It has nothing to do with you. Are you? Do you go to like, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or Target or Walmart? Do you stand at the customer service counter there and just bitch at people when they come to get refunds for stuff that's broken or doesn't work or is not as advertised? Do you do that too? No, it's just this project. I, I haven't touched anything Star Citizen in a couple weeks. And I can tell you, taking a step back like that is very, very healthy. And it's very revealing to be how odd the situation is. Like I said, it, if someone's getting a refund, it doesn't affect you at all. I mean, even, let's be honest here, the customer service guys, the reps that are doing this, that are processing refunds, it doesn't even really affect them either. I mean, it's just, it's just odd to me. I can't get it through my head. Like, why, why are people mad at other people? Like, he doesn't like the way the development's going. He has every right to get his money back. I wasn't even refunding, and I still felt like that. I'm like, I ah, can't blame him. I mean, but here I am now. I'm trying to get a refund. I'm waiting in line now, and it's, I, it's just funny to me. So, I mean, I've done other videos, so that's that's your cue to the hate subs to, to go back and downvote those. They haven't been downvoted yet. But anyway, yeah, like I just, I can't get that. And I'd like to get conversation going of how there's somebody who gave money to the project years ago trying to get, you know, not even all of it sometimes, just some of their money back out. How does that affect you at all? I don't understand that. And the only thing, only conversation I can see that actually has some merit are the people that bought ships, sold them on the black market, and then are turn around trying to get their money back out and get the ships they've already been, they've already gotten paid for back. So, but I mean, apparently, and I have no idea other than what people can tell me because I, I didn't black market anything. They actually, they, apparently, there's a way that they can track that or stop that or whatever. So the people that are trying to dump ships on the black market and get a refund for the ships they've sold to somebody else apparently don't. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, for people like me, I bought the little Aurora package and the five dollar Beta Axe. I'd love. I want to kind of make a point about that i bought a beta key pass to arena commander that apparently is still a pre-alpha game this many years down the road and apparently that that's like okay i just it's funny to me like i said you take a couple steps back you look at the situation you're just i can't understand i really can't and, and i can try to I, I can't even vocalize my thoughts on this like it's crazy like the game, and I'll be honest, like between Star Citizen and some other projects I've had on the back burner that have taken some really bad turns, I quit buying games in pre-alpha, period. It's it's seriously, it's that bad of a situation for me at least. Because Star Citizen's kind of like the exception because, like I said, you know, these other games that are in pre-alpha, yeah, people are going to get mad you're taking, you know, you're trying to get a refund and what they see is taking money away from the project, but... Star Citizen, man, it's something else. Like I said, if, you, if you're going to invest in the game and then never look at it again to the day it comes out, Star Citizen might be okay. But if you actually care about the project and, you know, everything that was promised and you're trying to figure out how it all is going to fit together, like you can't ask questions in the normal channels, just so you know that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my video. It's a quick one. I just, like I said, someone sent me a link to some lunatic going off about how he felt about people that got a refund. And I'm just like, he does he do this to everything or just Star Citizen? Because I would love to see this guy at the counter at a local <laughs> at a local establishment bitching people out they got a refund. Because that's, that's incredibly entertaining to me. It's very intriguing. So anyway, y'all have a good one. Uh, it's actually Thursday. So you guys have a good weekend. I'll catch you around.